It sounds like your struggles are almost over, Bratan. Is Bart dead? I'm standing. He's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Burke out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use. Return to loading bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. Uh, we've now I, reached I, the true story twist in the game, where you're Bratan. about to walk in and Queen. see the person, the mysterious contact is about to be revealed uh, to you. Uh, and uh, there were quite a few challenges associated no with us. this uh, this mysterious Resume contact this and time. with this reveal. Um, as you know, you're about to step forward and meet Quinn and discover that Quinn, our lovely little Irish helper, is actually Russian. And that led to a great casting challenge for us. Yeah, it was was definitely much like yours. Uh, more of a challenge for uh, she saw what the, uh, she the talented to actor we used, Julian was Casey. What she needed to great actor, and he's great at doing uh, accents, so especially the, the Irish accent, Except which she's dead, I believe and I'm is not. somewhat native. He is Irish, yeah. yes. But so when we we're pitched to him, uh, how's your Russian accent, he just kind of gave us a scared face. And he was having a hard time with it, and I think what may have helped is we told him, why don't you go study the film he made it up safely. And he's on great Russian acting uh, accents and, 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 and he actually did. I think he spent about three days just practicing dialogue over and over again. And when he came in, um, you know, we thought, yeah, okay, it's probably not the most authentic Russian, but for a guy who's jumping between Irish and Russian, it was pretty damn good. And we, were, we were happy with it. Yeah, leave it to the writers to come up with such an interesting, challenging twist on that. Uh, the dialogue itself needed to wrap everything up, including reflecting on all of your choices Fine. that I you made throughout the can, game, which was yet mind, another one of the fun catch. things that we <laughs> like to do, trying to keep track of all that. And then the biggest pro challenge maybe as well was that we had to hide well, we didn't want the player to shoot him <laughs> from afar. That would have been Not bad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, pal! Oh, so there's that door opening in the cargo boat, I think, and because it's close when you get there, and when you open, the force conversation to be happens, and you have the guy who was the waiting for you inside the boat. You mean that way you couldn't shoot him before. So who yeah, we we're fascists that we don't let you shoot people. Independent operatives, Until you agents of conversion and equilibrium who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I am delighted to say that Burke did most of the damage control for us. After requesting the profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it'll already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead. Once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Buck remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Buck issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, 
The cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail, but I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, mate. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. So noticing the uh, the two guards that are just at the bottom of the ramp, uh, one thing like we do very well in Deus Ex is the uh, uh, the environment reacts to past actions. In this case, if you had created chaos uh, on the boat, these guards. Would be alerted and already expecting somebody to come out of this uh, uh, this environment right now. It's done, exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. Chance you're still there. Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. So we're uh, uh, in the Omega Ranch now, and we are with the level designer who created this map, uh, Louis-Etienne Rivet. And actually, uh, right now we start in the hangar of the uh, of a uh, as a starting point but it was not like that before we were in the outskirts right yep uh, indeed uh, Jeff uh, we started in the outskirts outside the compound and your first objective was actually to go disable the antenna uh, and from there you will infiltrate the compound and you would reach the exterior courtyard which exists in Omega Ranch uh, sadly mostly because of a lack of time and also for streaming constraint, we had to cut some part of the maps and that part uh, was cut. So we decided to recycle the antenna idea and integrate it to the compound where it became a secondary objective for the player to disable. And uh, if I remember well, w when we were starting in the, uh, the outskirt, and maybe you can confirm, John, but uh, one of the motivation we had for it is that most of the game 
happens in cities and concrete and everything and we wanted to kind of change the pace a little bit and have a little bit more of the uh we're trying to break nature. that whole yeah yeah because exactly. yeah, yeah. because that omega ranch was supposed to be in a remote almost kind of the countryside uh and uh we wanted to make sure that we we could show that but uh didn't really didn't didn't come through all that much <laughs> So now we're in the microgen lab and actually as we, we get there, uh, there's something different in terms of challenge because uh, if you have noticed by playing the game until now, uh, most of the challenges are happening in on the uh, horizontal plane. And uh, our lead uh, level designer, René Martin Posé, really wanted us to to, to, to change the pace a bit and try to go for a little bit more of a, uh, the vertical uh, plane challenges and everything. And that, uh, with uh, the art and the style of the, the slab, we could really, really take advantage of it and create one of the very few zones in the game that have uh, some vertical gameplay.
So the interesting uh, acting bit here is uh, the voice actress who plays Nia Colvin is actually the same actress who plays um, who plays Dr. Markovic in the game. Um, she's Lenny Parker, a very flexible um, and versatile actress, and she's actually got a bit of a fan following on her own because she was a major character, I believe, in the show Earth Final Conflict, um, and she still gets a lot of fan mail related to that. So, Is it normal that I don't know that show? <sighs> You're just not geek enough. Okay. Mm, flexible actress. <laughs> Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... it was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, about the rest of the team. Where are they? Where's Dr. Reed? Eric and Declan are here and alive, but they try to keep us apart. Dr. Reed is in a secured area, heavily guarded. Then I need a way to get the guards out. A distraction. Maybe a lab accident, what do you say? After what those bastards did to Vasily? Of course. But one minor incident in this lab won't be enough. No. But if a couple of other labs go up, simultaneously... Declan and Eric! Of course! Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... There may be another issue. They're tracking your GPLs, aren't they? I've been wondering how to get around that. Smart man! Just like Vasily. He had a plan to shut down their tracking and jamming protocols using a virus. Maybe Declan or Eric know something more about it. Dr. Faraday doesn't seem to be working in this building. Any idea where he is? I think he's in the biomech lab next door. But you don't have to go outside to reach him. There's a skywalk that connects the two buildings. Maybe you can use it. I haven't yet located Eric Koss, Dr. Colvin. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neuro enhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. Okay, wait for my signal, Dr. Colvin. When your GPL starts to vibrate, set off the distraction. I understand. And I'm sorry for what I said earlier. <laughs> 